guys, uh, today I am sharing with you my peanut butter cookie recipe. Um, it's going to be part of a care package that I sent out to my best friend in Maine. Um, he was in an accident this past week and is still in the hospital. Um, so all I can do for him here from Florida is to bake cookies and to share his GoFundMe link. Um, so wherever you're watching this video, whether it's on the blog or directly on YouTube, uh, there will be a link uh, either embedded in the video or uh, in the description below. If you can help by either donating or at least just sharing the link to raise awareness, that would be awesome. Um, this is my best friend. Uh, he's good people. He and his fiance were actually just starting to plan their wedding when this happened. And so they've got some tough times ahead of them. So this recipe is going to be one of four that I send up there to them. Um, so let's get into the recipe itself. Starting out with one cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour. One cup of gluten-free oat flour. Half a cup of rice flour. One quarter cup of coconut flour. 1 half teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, and 1 teaspoon of salt. And whisk to combine and break up any lumps. And set aside to work on wet ingredients. Um, in our large bowl, we're going to have um, a whole stick of butter, a half cup of white sugar, There we go, one lovely cup of packed brown sugar. And now we are going to cream these together. Okay, to this we're going to add two eggs. Remember to crack on a flat surface. One cup of peanut butter. Two tablespoons of milk. One. Two and one teaspoon of vanilla and mix. So now we're adding dry ingredients in three batches. So we're starting off with our first. Okay, so scrape as much extra dough off the beaters as you can. Just remember not to lick the raw dough if you are using Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour because raw chickpea flour is disgusting. Okay, and then if your dough didn't come out exactly log-like, you can use the plastic to smush it into shape so that it rolls properly and into the fridge. Okay, so we've got our chilled dough ready. Um, we're just gonna cut off chunks and roll that up. And of course I have my actual tube of parchment paper sitting on top of the sheet just to weigh it down until I can get some dough on here to weigh down the corners. Okay, so we have our cookies rolled into balls. Now we just need to make the classic uh, crosshatch shape on top. So you're just going to take a fork, press down in one direction, press down in the other direction, and repeat. Ta-da! Aren't they cute? Okay, so um, into a 375 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes um, until they get just a bit brown around the edges. And then I'm just going to set up my next pan and keep rotating until all my cookies are baked. All right, these look perfect. 
going to let these cool on the pan about two or three minutes before transferring them to my cooling racks to cool completely. So I've just pulled out my second tray of cookies and they are cooling on the pan before I transfer them to the rack. But my first batch should be ready for tasting. Um, I just want to do some quality control before I ship them off along with three other types of cookie in this giant box. So, here we go. Perfect. I have a lot more baking to do if I'm going to fill up this box. But, um, if you guys can, please donate and share the link to Jed's GoFundMe. Um, this was a horrific accident, and really, this couple just needs anything that they can get. Um, they're amazing people. I love them both. So, anything at all that you can do to help would be appreciated. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time on the Deglutinizer.